What's up guys, welcome back to another video, Sky here as always and today we are once again playing with Passat Hook. As you know, one of the best, if not the best free CS2 cheat you can get right now. It's updated once again, made by James Bond, you can have all the um, credits uh, in the description, he's a really cool guy, Romanian guy like me. And, uh, and today I'm gonna show you again how to install it, if anything changed from last version, and uh, I'll show you its features, its new features and all that kind of stuff. Before starting, make sure to be subscribed, we are close to 35,000 uh, subscribers, which is honestly amazing. And make sure to join the Discord server as we are hosting giveaways there. Uh, almost weekly sometimes and you can win some pretty cool stuff but without further ado let's uh, dive right into the uh, Passat hook um, download you can have the link in the description skymos.org slash download slash Passat hook one uh, on my website everything checked and uh, the first time you click download you might get a pop out like this this is an ad make sure you don't download anything from here close it and when you click again you should be redirected to booststellar.com when you're here uh, you have a few steps to do which will take you under one minute so don't worry you're gonna get through them very very fast and after that okay that was my father and uh, after that you're gonna have the direct download to the exe so uh, this is the only file you're gonna need because uh, passat hook is external so you don't need to inject anything you don't need a library you have passat hook that exe and that's all and uh, before uh, doing anything with this, I advise you to disable your antivirus by going to Windows Security Panel here, to Virus and Threat Protection, and to Manage Settings here, and turn off Real Time Protection and Dev Drive Protection, and that's all for it to work without issues. And now I've seen many many comments and many many messages in my Discord server where they put the Passat hook, um, they try to run it and their antivirus deletes it or they put it into virus total and they see like 20 detections, 30 detections out of 70 and I want to address that once and for all hopefully. Cheats are often uh, seen as viruses by antiviruses even though they are not, it's called a false positive and it happens because it's a low-level program which accesses and writes memory directly and it's often packed by um, things like VM Protect, Demida, etc. in order to not be cracked or debugged or changed or whatever. And so uh, when a file is packed and does so many things, antiviruses start to trigger, but it's nothing uh, very important. So now after you've done this, you can go ahead and run the game. We're gonna go here and uh, seems like we also need to update our CS. So I'll be back in a second uh, when I'm updated the game. Oh, here we go. Apparently it's updated. We're gonna launch CS2. So you're gonna have the game opened first. This is an external, you don't really care. You don't need to put it on a USB or launch it before the game. Actually, you need the game launched before you launch this. And you're gonna see in a second. So let's load into the into the screen here, into the game. And after you've loaded into the game, what you have to do is go to your settings menu in under video and make sure you are on full screen windowed. Because this is an external cheat, it needs to render its overlay on top of the CS2 window and it won't be able to do that if you are on full screen. So make sure you are on full screen windowed. And uh, that's all. You're gonna go ahead now and hit your uh, desktop and you're gonna open or run passathook.exe as an admin. You're gonna see something like this um, when it's loaded and as you can see you have passathook here which you can turn on and off by using insert. And if you have a certain Windows version, which you probably don't, but I have, some features will be disabled. Um, so I'm, I seen there in the CMD before it closed, you are using Windows 11 24H2 and I'm not going to be able to disable safe mode because of this. So that's not really a issue. And let's get into a workshop map and check out the features really quick so i'm not sure if there are any new features but i do appreciate the fact that the owner is keeping the cheat working and updated and 
you know it's actually updating the cheat um, quite fast when it's needed so we have passat hook here we have uh, as always legit bot grenades players world which is esp and stuff main and config so let's test the most important thing aimbot you can change settings per weapon group which is nice we're gonna go global we're gonna go full fov aim type whatever static we can draw the fov this is the fov but we don't need it right now aimbot keybind we're gonna go m1 mouse one and we're gonna go hold and now theoretically the aimbot should work let's put the hitbox to let's see hitbox head yeah now i have the aim on hold so as you can see the aim will track the player because it's static we can also go dynamic i'm not sure the difference between dynamic and static but it seems like i can no longer hold it or let's see oh okay it's a bit faster so uh, this is the aimbot it works like a charm obviously make sure to use a lower fov if you want to play legit this is the legit cheat you have the grenade helper which is amazing i cannot showcase you the grenade helper right now because i don't have grenades in this map i can't purchase them neither can i give them i think i don't know how to give them but the main thing is this grenade helper for a free cheat is actually pretty advanced and you can uh, you can also have pre-made configs for locations you can have nade bot and um this is actually quite impressive for a free cheat so if you are a very tactical player uh then you definitely can use this to your advantage and you can play at high level uh plays you know high level matches you also have vsp which obviously is the wall hack and you can customize it how you, uh, however you wish have also keybind which well, whatever we don't need that right now we can manage uh, elements here we can add the bounding box and the skeleton we can add all kinds of um, info i don't usually like to overload my screen with information on the player because it's too small anyways and you're not gonna read it you know this from when i play with meme sense matches and stuff that i don't like doing that and here in world you can modify your FOV, I can't because I'm using a specific version of Windows, you will most likely can. You have the movement trail, the bullet tracers and the taser range showing you the range you can tase at. You also have a color correction if you wish to color correct the, your world. This is an overlay actually. So it's not directly changing the in-game variables to make it look like internal cheat does. This is just a color overlay with a lower opacity. So, you know, but it's still a good addition if you want to make your um, world a bit darker. Then we have here on main, we have a velocity graph, which is quite interesting if you're a b-hop player, I guess, or I don't know if you strafe and do shit like that. I'm not into it. I'm not sure how to use it. It can, I believe it shows your speed and momentum and stuff. And it's a pretty slick thing. You have the no scope crosshair. You can have the crosshair even though even when you have the AWP equipped. Hit sounds, which are loud. Oh god, okay. These are pretty loud, but um, you can change the volume here. And you also have hit marker, which is visually as you can see and it's quite 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 nice quite satisfying you can have the watermark here if you want you can disable it or keep it enabled you have the spotify add-on which i'm not sure what it does something related to spotify and listening to music keybinds list if you want to see the keybinds active and spectators list if you want to see the list of people spectating you you can also change the menu key the accent color if you wish Oh, I can get my thumbnail now. I wonder what color should we make this video? We haven't made one orange in a long time. Can we do orange? I don't think it's a good idea. Oh, we can. Oh, this looks good. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna do an orange video, so 
we're gonna leave the team like this we have the safe mode here which you can disable if you want i don't condone you do this the moment you disable safe mode uh well you're not safe anymore so you have a vpk map which i'm not sure what it means or how to get it i mean i have a, an idea but you won't use it anyway you can change the fps of the overlay of the passat hook overlay which is unnecessary but i advise you keep it at um, something lower like 70 so you don't affect game performance and you can capture proof here and you won't see it on my obs anymore if you want to stream or record with cheats without people seeing you have cheats and here of course join passat hook discord server which you should definitely do so why is this mouse not going oh i closed passat okay well that's not an issue because i was done anyways thank you a lot for watching and i hope you liked the video and i hope you will have fun with passat uh be careful as always no cheat is 100 percent safe but usually external ones are incredibly incredibly safe they come with less features of course but um that shouldn't be an issue you have aimbot you have a wall hack everything you need to have fun so thank you a lot for watching, make sure to subscribe and leave a like and make sure to join the Discord server down below in the description and I'll see you guys in the next video, bye bye.